What does maltodextrin from GMO corn have to do with anything? Well, today I'm going to cover that in some more detail, so stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Hey, this is Lance McGowan, the Tropical Smoothie Guy, and today we're going to talk about maltodextrin from GMO corn, and GMO corn is most corn, over 90% is actually genetically modified, and maltodextrin is super cheap to get from that particular source, and so we're going to talk about that in the next section. Hey, it's Lance here, the Tropical Smoothie Guy, and today we're going to be talking about maltodextrin from GMO corn, and the reality is that almost all the maltodextrin used in health foods, vitamins, and supplements are derived from genetically modified corn. And you can see this corn right here looks like a cross between Frankenstein and maybe even a little bit of zombie action going on there. And that's really disturbing, but what's more disturbing is how our food supply has been changed so dramatically in the name of profits and in the name of lowering your food costs, which is great, you know, like, yay, but not when it has potential unknown side effects and a lot of other health issues too. So the reality, also is that the only exception is products with the USDA organic ingredients label and then maltodextrin can still be found in organic and natural products but at least it won't be GMO and so you want to look for this label on your products as a more insurance guarantee and then the reason why corn is so cheap and maltodextrin is such a cheap filler and the reason why you know beef and chicken that's not organic is so cheap is because corn is a major animal feed product and then also corn is in tons of stuff so it's basically a filler for a lot of things and it's subsidized by the US government making it fairly inexpensive to use and corn based maltodextrin is a cheap again filler that adds fat like body and sweetness to products so there is a reason why they use it for sweetness for body and texture and because it's super duper a cheapo all right, so the next steps is to subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch the next video so you can learn more about this topic one way to think about GMOs is frankenfoods. They are something that man created for man's purpose, but at the same time, we don't know the future long-term health effects of all that. And it really, I mean, it's a heavily subsidized crop when you look at corn. And a lot of times people are like, well, organic's too expensive. Well, when we tell the government to not stop providing all them subsidies, then what's going to be really expensive is the regular food. And that includes beef, chicken, eggs, because all those things have corn as their feed stock. So <laughs> they, if they're not, then they're using grass. And so grass feds getting a lot, you know, bigger of a movement, but still like grass fed doesn't even guarantee that a hundred percent of what they're being fed is grass. So you also have to look at the percentage of that. So green fed is actually another thing to take into consideration. That's a whole nother video. But anyways, hit the subscribe button. And make sure to check out my other videos so you can learn more about maltodextrin and genetically modified foods so you can take your health back.